welcome back to my channel. Um, thank you so much for everyone who has been watching my channel and subscribing and liking. I so appreciate you guys. Um, today I'm going to be flipping these side tables that I got in Marketplace for 30 bucks. Um, I think they're a really good deal. They're solid wood. Um, so we are going to update these um, and give them a new look. Uh, my plan for these is to <clears throat> Um, paint them white. Um, this has been painted with chalk paint, so I'm actually just going to use my Rust-Oleum chalk paint today because that'll be easy. I won't have to scuff sand to them using the chalk paint. And we're going to take off these odd looking insect hardware and I found some really cool hardware on Amazon that I'm going to put, put on. Um, and we're also going to change out the legs. Um, I have some mid-century looking legs I've been wanting to use and I needed the right piece. So we are going to take those bulky legs off and put on new legs today. Um, this is gonna look completely different and I'm really excited. Um, I also am gonna try and take off this, if you can see, there's this odd looking decor in the middle. It makes it look a little old, so I'm gonna try and use a hammer and get that off as well. Um, so again, thank you for watching my channel. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments while I'm doing this, please feel free um, to ask. I would love to hear from you. Okay, um, I went ahead and removed the drawers and we cleaned it up. Um, and now I'm gonna try and remove this little wood piece here. That's kind of a decoration. Um, I think anything like this makes it look, makes the pieces look old. Um, so I'm just using a hammer and a flathead. Uh, and I'm gonna attempt to remove this. was a lot easier than I thought it would be. That was perfect. Um, so the nails came out nicely. Um, so we'll have to do, I'll have to do a little sanding there to make that smooth. Um, but now I'll just go ahead and remove the other one. So as you can see on this piece, um, or if you can't see, um, all the nails did not come out. So I'm just taking some pliers and pulling them out myself. Which is kind of annoying but it has to be done. There we go. Okay, so now we'll get that sanded down and get to painting. Um, all right, today I'm gonna be using my Bosch sander. And um, I'm just using 120 grit. Um, honestly, I don't know, you could use 180, 100, whatever. Um, this is what I have right now, so it's going to use to sand this down and make it nice and smooth. Um, I'm going to use, always wear, when you're sanding, always remember to wear a mask um, and safety glasses. My youngest child decided to steal my glasses and lose them, so I'm going to be wearing sunglasses inside. Okay, we are finally ready to apply some paint. Um, today, again, I'm going to be using Rust-Oleum chalk paint. Um, and I know that I wanted to use chalk paint um, because this is already, I know that this has already been painted with chalk paint. Um, the person I bought it from told me that and then she actually gave me the rest of the chalk paint. Um, so, I'm going to be using that. Um, one quick thing, I don't usually ever have problems with um, Rust-Oleum being too thick. Um, but if you ever do have that because it's water-based, you can always, um, once you apply the paint, you can always spray a little bit of water and that will help get rid of any of the paint lines that you see when you're painting. Just a quick tip. Let's do this.
Okay, now it's time to fill in the holes um, for these drawers. So what I use is plastic wood, DAP, um, and I just use a paint stick and get what I need on there. Then you just want to fill in the hole completely. And then make sure it's all the way in there. And then I just kind of take my finger and smooth it out. So that way sanding is much faster. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the other drawer. We'll let it dry. I'll probably just use um, some sandpaper for this instead of my um, Bosch sander, just because it's small and it should be really quick. Okay, these are dry, so we're gonna go ahead and sand these down. I'm just using some sandpaper, 120 grit. And it should not take long at all. Okay, that was quick and easy. Okay, okay no plans. We are gonna go ahead and make our own holes and use the hardware provided. Um, so they gave me the drill bit and the pieces I'm gonna drill hole for this. We'll put this in that hole and then um, we'll put the screws in and be able to put the legs in ourselves. Now we just need to take the small drill bit and drill the holes. for the little screws. Okay, so we'll do that now. Okay, now we're ready to put in the little screws on it. Okay, that worked out pretty quickly. Now we'll go ahead and put the leg in. And you also wanna make sure that when you choose a spot, um, I just went right across from the hole that was already there, um, so it's easy to measure, but you, if you don't have something like that, then you wanna measure it because you don't want the legs to be sticking out um, from the furniture. So, okay, that was pretty simple. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of these. I won't bore you with it. Um, and then you'll be able to, we'll put the hardware on the drawers after this and we'll be almost done. All right, we are finally ready to put on the hardware for the drawers. Um, as you can see, I have these cute gold handles that I found. Um, I have four of them, so I decided to use two on these because I think one won't look good enough. Um, so what I'm going to do is there are holes inside where the old hardware was, and I'm just actually going to line up one of the holes, and then that's where I'm going to put these. Um, I went ahead and measured four inches on the outside, if you can see that, for each one. So it should be fairly easy and straight. Got my drill. Okay, so now I drill the holes for these. And remember not to go all the way through because you don't, yeah, you don't want to see that hole, you have to fix it. Mark with a pencil and then do it. I don't mind just holding it and drilling it. So 
It's really whatever you're comfortable with. Sometimes it's easier to mark it, but I just want to get it done. Okay. Go ahead and get these in there. second one done and then we will I bought some little knobs on Amazon as well and we'll put them right there and we'll get a final look step um, before you want to sell these or use these in your house you will want a protective coat um, so what I use on or what I used to use a lot of what I use chalk paint and it's just a clear wax coat um, this is bare it's a wax finish um, it goes on clear and there's a little bit of a satin look to it but not much at all so um, that's kind of why I like it because you can tell this protective coat but it's not overbearing um, so, just give this a good coat, and if you want to do a couple layers, um, that's up to you. You do want to make sure that after you put this on, um, take another cloth and completely wipe it down. I have forgotten to do that, and you will see little specks of wax if you don't do that. down with another clean cloth. Okay, then we'll repeat for that one and they will be ready to go. Okay, here they are with the new legs, the hardware. Um, I really like it. I mean, it looks modern, not really mid century, but more of a boho, just clean look. Um, you guys tell me what you think. I really like these fun knobs and these i just found on amazon so here is the final product i'm um, gonna get these posted and hopefully i can make really good money on these okay here is what they look like completely staged and ready for marketplace um, again thank you so much for watching and um, please feel free to subscribe to my channel um, and feel free to leave any questions or comments that you guys have um, thanks again for watching <laughs>